there are a lot of people who love this book. It's already a successful bestseller, and there are a lot of people who do not. Um, so I want to start by asking, as a lead researcher, do you stand behind everything that is in this book? Are you comfortable with everything that made it to the, to the bookstores? Well, I, I, t it, when working with Professor Marable, um, and I also assist and taught his Malcolm X course, and uh, Professor Marable, as we gathered these materials, he frequently discussed and debated various aspects of Malcolm's life with us. And these were very vibrant conversations. Um, for me, getting the book and reading it was the first time I got a chance to see how these debates played out in his mind. So I worked on the research, but I want to be very clear, this is Professor Marable's book. This is his analysis of that research. So are there things that made it into the book that you aren't comfortable? I think there are things in the book that are echoes, for me, of earlier debates and discussions. And Professor Marable was the type of person, he wasn't dogmatic. And anyone reading this book will see in the language that he uses, um, in some cases, he leaves open. You know, there are things that he says, maybe this, this was the case. Um, it's perhaps this is how Malcolm may have felt. So there are things that he leaves open for discussion, for contemplation, but for debate. But he had debate. the final say-so, so it's safe to say that there are things that you probably didn't agree with. I think did. that there are, in this book, the kinds of discussions and debates Professor Marable wanted to have. Right. And so I think he would have He's looking over that. our shoulder, so yeah. we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'll, I'll let our readers read the tea leaves That's in that response. Right.